Hi, welcome to Sweet Dreams Wellness Travel. I am Barbara Tuckett, your host and the owner of Sweet Dreams Travel. I am a wellness travel specialist. I believe that our mind, body, and spirit all play into our well being, and I create travel experiences which improve your wellness so that you return from your vacation with more health, more happiness, and more connection, both with those you've traveled with and also with your destination. In these episodes, I explore travel and wellness experiences, giving you ideas and recommendations, and also interviewing people who have firsthand experience of the places where you may want to go next. Welcome. Let's get started. Hey, how's it going? I am excited to be with you today to be able to share this topic. I actually have been kind of wanting to share this for a while and just, it just didn't ever like pan out until now. So i um, excited to talk today about what are called active and discovery river cruises in Europe. And we're going to be talking about an in-depth way to explore the rivers and sites of Europe um, with something called active and discovery cruises. So the active and discovery cruises are run specifically by a river cruise line called Avalon. And Avalon is a great company. Um, just some of the normal inclusions that they include are, of course, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on board. Um, they include complimentary sparkling wine with breakfast. They also include wine, beer, or soft drinks with lunch and dinner. So that's all included. Um, you have an expert cruise director that's on board. You have an adventure host available as a guide for fitness activity and some of the active excursions that you go on. Um, basically, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in a minute, but you have an option for what's called classic, active, or discovery excursions and sightseeing. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. The Avalon cruises include complimentary Wi-Fi. They've got a sky deck up on top that has a whirlpool and a little game area. Um, They've got a sky grill, which has made to order alfresco dining, which is outside dining, Um, a panorama lounge, a club lounge, um, the panorama dining room. Anyway, um, just they're beautiful. They're beautiful um, ship and they have lots of great options. But they also have a um, program called the Active and Discovery Cruises. So I kind of wanted to focus on that a little bit today. Um, So for a minute, I'm just gonna keep telling you a little bit more about Avalon and um, introducing the Active and Discovery. So um, basically the Active and Discovery types of cruising is, these excursions are created for like a, a, somebody who wants to get a little more in depth into the experiences, not just walk around and see and tour, but um, to actually, for example, in Amsterdam, go to a painting class or um, a tasting of cheese and beer um, or learning how to say good morning in Vienna. eating like locals, um, a few different activities that are a little more in depth than the norm. I guess that's kind of a good way to explain it. Um, I did want to just touch on one really cool thing about Avalon, which sets them apart from a lot of the other river cruise lines is that they've got what is called a panorama suite. And these suites are Um, larger than normal, but they also have like, they, they are able to do like floor to ceiling windows and um, balconies, that type of thing. Um, So some of the other cruise lines have their beds against the wall. So that when you look out, you know, you're sitting on your bed and you're looking across the room, you see the other wall Avalon has arranged theirs so that when you are sitting on your bed and you're looking out, you are directly looking out of the the window, the balcony. And so they call it a panorama suite. So that's kind of a cool thing that Avalon has that some of the other cruise lines don't. Um, So not all of Avalon's 
river cruises are called active and discovery in their normal river cruise that they have the excursions that you can choose from 80 percent of the excursions are what we call classic 10 percent are active and 10 percent are discovery however if you're on an active and discovery cruise um, the classic is now down to 20 percent and then discovery and active are 40 percent each so between discovery and active it's 80 percent discovery and active and only 20 percent classic types of excursions so they just focus a little more on getting in depth um, so it's a traveler that thrives on motion and action and doing things like that so some of it is hiking or climbing up to castles or um, different things like that but some of it is also places that you get to visit and things that you get to do so they, they really are trying to make the river cruise more of an immersive experience rather than just seeing things um, another really cool thing about avalon is that they are tied to um, a i guess a, a tour company that is called globus and cosmos globus and cosmos are run by the same parent company avalon has the same parent company as globus and cosmos so they make it really really easy to extend your stay or to come in early and to combine um, maybe some other guided land packages with your river cruise. So it's really nice. They take can take care of the transportation from the hotel to the ship or the ship to the hotel, um, transportation between cities and do all kinds of like fun guides, guided sightseeing off the ship either before or after. So Avalon has some really good pre and post cruise options available. Okay, so now I just wanted to jump in and go through a few and just highlight a few of the active and discovery locations and um, highlight a few things that um, you might get to do on an active and discovery cruise, just so you can kind of get an idea. So the first one I want to talk about is an eight day cruise, seven night cruise. It's Frankfurt to Amsterdam. And so this one explores, this cruise explores Germany and Holland. And um, it's a really great itinerary. You get to see lots of really fun, great places all along the way. Um, and a couple of the excursions on the active and discovery that you do, do or have a chance to do, um, one of them is a cooking workshop. You get to visit a 12th century restaurant for a fascinating cooking workshop and the chance to create and taste all of the delicious final products. Another one is called Lava City. Um, so there is a, a city called Mendig and they have a volcano. And so you can go to Mendig to this volcano encounter, get to wander through all of these caverns and corridors and um, see where the cold lava, which is called basalt, where it used to be mined. So that those are just two fun excursions that are part of the Frankfurt to Amsterdam river cruise. Another one is called Pont Saint Louis to Lyon. And this one is in France. It takes place all in France. Um, it's all along the Rhone River and it starts in southern France, goes up to Lyon, which is more central France. And it's this one's a really nice one also. Um, one of the excursions on this cruise is a guided kayak trip in the Gorge de l'Ardèche in the spectacular canyons of the Rhone tributary. So you get to go off on your own little kayaking excursion with a guide. And um, other options that you have with this, you can stroll to the Papal Palace in Avignon. You can go to a wine tasting in an underground cave. Um, they have a culinary walk to discover the architecture and local specialties or they have a cooking class in Lyon. Um, there is also a guided bike ride through the Gard region um, or a chocolate factory tour. So all kinds of really fun 
excursions all along the way in this French itinerary. So the next one is also in France. This one's a round trip Paris. So begins and ends in Paris. This would work really nicely if you wanted to see Paris and um, some of the surrounding areas on the cruise and then be able to add either a pre or a post um, excursion or little um, outing to other places. So this is a really nice, um, really nice cruise. And a couple of the excursions that you could do on this one, there's a guided hike up to the castle ruins of Chateau Gaillard, um, which is the historic home of King Richard the Lionheart. Or another fun excursion choice is travel to the Chantilly Castle where the experts um, of the creme de Chantilly will show you how to prepare your own Chantilly cream. So that's, those are both really fun excursion options. Okay, then now we are going to move over to the Danube and the countries of Austria and Hungary. This cruise is Linz to Budapest. So um, begins over in Germany. Well, just, I guess it's just on the border. So I, I, it's probably still in Austria, just over the border of Germany. So it begins in Austria, uh, mostly all the way through Austria, um, on the Danube and over to Hungary and ends in Budapest. So this one's really fun. And one of the fun excursions in this cruise is a medieval knights tournament. So this is a guided excursion and you get to go and watch the medieval knights tournament. They have targeting and fighting demonstrations by members of the St. George Knightly Order. So this one's really fun. You get to kind of step back in time and enjoy um, this really fun nightly knights tournament. So that one's great. All right, let's highlight a round trip Amsterdam cruise. So this round trip Amsterdam, yes, it does start and end in Amsterdam, but it also visits uh, Belgium, some Belgium towns. So it begins and ends in Amsterdam, goes through Rotterdam and Middelburg, and then in Belgium to Ghent, Brussels and Antwerp, and then comes back to Amsterdam at the end. So it's really a fun itinerary. And this is the itinerary where you get to enjoy an Amsterdam painting class if you would like to. So of course, this is the perfect excursion to do in this area because that is where Van Gogh and Rembrandt and Andy Warhol are from. And so you get to do your own artwork, have a painting class, and of course, be able to take it home if you'd like. Okay, um, another fun one is called Rymick to Frankfurt. And Rymick is just on the border of Germany and Luxembourg. Um, and so you get to, the, the time really in this cruise is spent going through Germany. It's on the Moselle River. All of these cruises that I'm touching on are all seven night cruises, eight days. And one of the fun excursions that you get to do on this one is paddle a canoe um, on the Moselle River. And so you get to actually take a canoe out with other people if you'd like and go on a canoe excursion. It's really fun. So I have some clients who are booked and looking forward to a really fun Avalon cruise, river cruise. And Paul and Carrie are their names, and they are heading at the end of May over, and they are going to do a Budapest to Degendorf. And so they get to visit the fun countries of, well, they, they begin in Hungary, obviously in Budapest, and then they will go through Slovakia and Austria and end up in Degendorf, Germany. Um, see lots of really, really fun, fun sites all along the Danube river and um, they just get to see lots of great things and experience lots of great things all along the way. So I just wanted to talk about one of the highlights that 
of cruise of the cruise excursion that they will possibly get to do if they choose to. Um, they get to visit an Austrian bakery workshop in the little town of Yebs. I really don't know how to pronounce it. It's spelled Y B B S. So I would guess it's Yebs, maybe. Anyway, that's the way I'm going to say it. I don't know, but. Um, what a fun experience that they can have if they choose, or they may choose a lot of other options that they have, um, but they get to visit an Austrian bakery workshop if they would like to. So I am excited for Paul and Carrie to get to go on their Avalon River cruise. Avalon is, just in case you were wondering, you, you probably know that I went on a, my most recent river cruise was in back in November. Um, this was a different cruise line than what I went on. I went on Alma Waterways and this is Avalon, but they are both such wonderful options for river cruising. Um, one really fun thing that Paul and Carrie are going to do is they're flying in a day early just so they can have a night at a hotel before they um, embark on the cruise. But then post cruise, this is really fun. Um, they are taking a train straight from the, they will disembark from the cruise. And then that same day, um, get on a train to burn Switzerland. And once they get to burn, they are going to stay four nights at the Savoy hotel in Bern and just really do a lot of sightseeing and just fun experiencing of Bern and the area around Switzerland. Then from there, after four nights there, they will just take a train to Zurich and hop on a flight home. So they are going to have a really fun cruise and a really great post-cruise um, and excellent time as well. So I'm excited for them. Um, I, am, I know this has been like a short episode, just short and sweet, but I really just wanted to let you know that there are many different options when you are thinking about river cruising. And this is just one of them that I wanted to highlight. So please let me know if you'd like more information about an active and discovery river cruise or anything else. If you're just thinking about um, going somewhere else or doing something else, I would love to help you with that. Talk to you later. Have a good week. Thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like, share, subscribe, or leave a review. If you'd like to contact me about a vacation, the best way is to visit my website, sweetdreamstravel.net. To connect on social media, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, or LinkedIn. See you next time.